<laughs> you are a crafty combatant wizard. Ali Baboon will give you that. But you have waded into deep sand now, coming into my lounge. Mirage was once ruled by the great Babylonian Empire. I am descended directly from its kings, and I inherited their tremendous powers. You embarrassed me back in the Underden, but now I will have my vengeance. To the last, I will grapple with thee.
say your spells, wizard. Ali Baboon is defeated. You are here for your genie friend, yes? Fine. You may take her. I hoped she would grant me wishes, but she refused me as a master. Her lamp is in the thieves' den vault. Take the key. Go to the vault, rescue your genie friend, and then be gone from here, all of you. Ali Baboon will finally get some rest. So, wait, Ali Baboon surrendered? Just like that? I can't believe it. In the end, he turned out to be a pushover, did I wouldn't normally stick up for a crime lord, but he was actually a pretty tough biscuit. I think he just knows when to cut his losses. So, you got the key to get your friend out of the thieves' den vault? Her lamp? Wait, she's a genie? Well, isn't that something? You've got a pretty strange circle of friends, wizard. I hope I can count myself one of them. Absolutely! You got us in and you didn't abandon us when things got ugly. And you've got dancers. Say, why not bring your act to Agrabah? Maybe we will then. Either way, we're going to hit the road. Good luck rescuing the genie wizard and keep dancing! Oh, I bet there are some goodies in here. It'd be okay to steal from Ali Baboon and the 40 Thieves, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, but what would the Sultana say? Great son, she's given me a conscience! Fine, though. Not like I have pockets, anyhow. There's Istar's lamp right there. Let's just grab it and get out of here, right? Yes. Make the Sultana proud, right? Am I ever glad to see you? After I refused to grant Ali Baboon's wish, I thought he'd be stuck in my lamp forever. I'm sorry, wizard. I feel so dumb. This is all my fault. When we were negotiating with the house cats, I had what seemed to be a great idea. To get the house djinn to support us, I agreed to help them steal the chrono shards from their masters. The shards we gave them were fakes. I stashed the real Chrono Shards away in the palace vault. Then, during the battle, the deal was, I had to let Ali Baboon in to take them. Wait, let me get this straight. You made a secret deal involving Ali Baboon and you didn't expect to be betrayed. You really are daft. I know. The house djinn were working with Irkala all along. She got the Chrono Shards and Ali Baboon got my lamp as payment for his help. Oh, I hope you'll forgive me, wizard. And the Sultana! Oh dear, I should go and tell her the truth right away. Meet me back at Kasra Palace.
Thank you for rescuing Istar, wizard. She made a terrible mistake, but I have forgiven her. I hope you will too. The house cat lords already know of the Jin conspiracy. When they returned home, they realized their chrono shards were fakes. The question now is why did Ear Kala want the chrono shards? And how do we find a way to get them back? Oh, Master, that won't be easy. They've taken the chrono shards to another dimension, the astral plane of the Jin, a place called Irum Palace. And since I'm just a junior genie, I've never been to Irum Palace, nor have I been told the secret of how to get there. There is someone who might know, a wise desert drama known as the Alchemist. I suppose the wizard and I could go ask him? Indeed, that is what you must do. I will inform the house cats. As before, Istar, treat the wizard as your master, and no bright ideas. Guess this means I'll be staying here again. Astral travel's not really my thing. No, I'll be fine. I'll just stay with the Sultana. All right then, wizard. Er, master. I promise, nothing sneaky this time. We're heading to Caravan to find the Alchemist. Let's go. Look at this place, Master! I can't believe it! The colors are breathtaking! Someone around here has good taste. <laughs> now, where's that Alchemist? Oh, there he is! The one in black? Let's go talk to him. Oh, great and wise alchemist, we have come from afar, seeking your wise counsel. Will you grant us an audience? What are you doing? Stop that. You're not supposed to call me that. Not here. Oh, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Yes, wanderer, it's true. I am known by many names in the desert. When you've been round as long as I, these things happen. All right, Istar. If I can recall any knowledge of value, you are welcome to it. Excellent. We're wondering if you might know the secret to visiting the astral plane of the Jinn, Irum Palace. Irum Palace? Why in the blazing sands would you want to go there? Wait a minute. You're a Jinny. Don't you know the way? No, only the senior Jin are told the secret. I don't know why they make it such a big deal. Well, maybe so they can betray everyone. You see, I... All right, very well. I don't need details. The legend of Irum Palace is as old as the Jin themselves. These days, its secrets are lost. The ancient cats knew such secrets, however, and inscribed them on the Irum tablet, which is said to be hidden in the Hall of Secrets. Go to the ruins of Catstantinople beneath Istanbul and search the Hall of Secrets. If you find the tablet, I will translate the inscription.
Sister, I've heard of this place. The ancient cats hid their darkest secrets here. Things they wanted no one to ever know about. thought usually it's the books that teach us but this time it was the opposite we taught the tomes a lesson 